turns out my prediction for the England game couldn't have been more accurate. We can now truly expect a goalless draw against Slovakia and everything to go back to normal. If you want an honest preview of the upcoming games, you're in the right place. Ready? Yep. Welcome to my Euros show. Italy versus the Republic of Ireland. Now Italy are due to rotate their squad which will make for a nice refreshing break for the regular starters. Mostly because of their boss, Antonio Conte, is pretty fiery on the touchline. In all the emotion he accidentally headbutted one of his coaching staff giving himself a nosebleed and spent the rest of the match shouting via mazo, via mazo, which translates to I'm going to kill you. It's back to basics for motivation. Sweden versus Belgium. Now Sweden have to win against a Belgium side who have started scoring goals. Zlatan no doubt is saving it all to the last minute to have maximum impact. Group F is wide open and there's everything to play for. Hungary versus Portugal. Now Cristiano Ronaldo will be hoping to end his nightmare and Hungary will be hoping he stays trapped in the body of a young boy. If Portugal finish second in their group, they'll be playing against England, which means my prediction from show one will probably come true. Portugal didn't turn up to the 2014 World Cup, yet I fully expect them to be knocking out England in a penalty shootout at some point in the next few weeks. Jesus Christ, I need to stop making predictions. Iceland versus Austria. Now Iceland may have conceded a late goal against Hungary, but they're going all out against Austria. On their Twitter, they've said that they think they can still win the group, despite neither of the teams having won a single game. In the news today, have qualified for the round of 16. Yay! Second place to Wales. Reports in the media that Roy hasn't got a plan have been rubbished. Of course he has a plan. Second place and draws. All part of the plan. In the last game against Slovakia, some of the set pieces were so poor, the majority of England fans were begging for Harry Kane to come back. I was starting to understand why Harry Kane was taking corners in the first place. All part of the plan. Women all over the world watching Switzerland v France were in heaven as four Swiss shirts tore during the match, causing major embarrassment for kit manufacturer Puma. Now, I really wanted to find a quirky, clever and fairly controversial line to finish that story, but I can't beat Sir Dan Shakri himself. He said he hopes Puma don't make condoms. I checked. They don't. Panic over. Before their last match with Wales, Russia claimed they wouldn't man Mark Bale. Now, I'm no tactical genius, but surely the only way to play against Wales is to man Mark Bale. UEFA, however, seem to have more superior tactics than Russia. Just wait, they'll take themselves home. Disgruntled England fans are claiming that Roy Hodgson is actually ex-United manager Louis van Gaal in disguise. Which can't be true, because they're both completely different species of bird. I'm done.